Okay, so today I will introduce you metamorphosis in rabbits in farms. I chose this subject because I used to work in a little farm of rabbits three years ago in the south of France, in Perpignan. There was not this disease in the farm, but in France, metamorphosis is well known because there are a lot of effects on rabbits. I'm just a little bit. Okay. So I will start by explaining what mixomatosis is. Then I will speak about the symptoms, the diagnosis, the treatment and prophylaxis, and then about the consequences. So mixomatosis is a disease from the South and Central America, first reported in 1896. Um, when an Italian laboratory rabbit colony imported into Uruguay for research, suddenly died of an extremely infectious disease. Then the virus, the virus was identified in 1930. It was introduced in France and in Australia in 1950 to control rabbit population. This disease is caused by a myxomatous virus a strain of Lipoxberry from Foxberry Day family, and there are almost three days between the infection and the apparition of the first symptoms. Um, Myxomatosis is, is a fatal disease for European rabbit races. There are cases of myxomatosis in the United, United States, and particularly in California, where Wild rabbits can be affected, but they will not die. But when a pet rabbit is affected, there is 99% chance of death. Myxomatosis can be spread by different ways. The most common is by insects. Indeed, fleas, mosquitoes, black flies can have the, vi the virus and transmit it when they bit a rabbit. Myxomatosis can also be spread by direct direct contact between infected rabbits or indirect contact through handling a sick rabbit then handling a healthy rabbit. So now about the symptoms. There are two types of myxomatosis, the nodular and the respiratory forms. First, the acute forms is the nodular form. There are 10, 10 to 15 days between the infections and the death. The rabbit has skin lesions, subcutaneous mass at the site of inoculation, swelling and nodules around the eyes and genitals, fever, lethargy, and immunosuppressions. <coughs> it means there is a predisposition to bacterial superinfections. Then respiratory pro problems come, and the death, death is often due to the Pneumonia. Sorry. The second form is less impressive. The rabbit suffers from a respiratory problem. It has difficulty to breathe, and the death come around the 20th day after infection. With the respiratory form, the rabbit is more susceptible to develop immunosuppression and to get another disease from bacteria. And here on the pictures, you can see nodules around the eyes, from the nose, and also around the eyes. So, um, according to sciences, here is the typical course of the disease. On day two, between day two and day four, um, after the infections, the um, the rabbit can swelling at site of it infections. On day four, the rabbits have fever. On day six. Six, the rabbit can swelling of eyelids, face, and base of ears. Ears. On day six, there are, are secondary skin lesions, including red pinpoint lesions on the eyelids and raised maces on body. Between day six and eight, there is clear ocular and nasal, nasal dis discharge that becomes mucopurulent and crustings. Between day seven and eight, the rabbit suffers from respiratory distress. Between day, day eight and nine, the rabbit has hypothermia. 
On day 10, there is the complete closure of the alleys, and between day 10 and 12, the rabbit type. About the diagnosis, um, the diagnosis is confirmed by the isolation of the virus by or by serolo ser serological methods. Isolation of the virus is usually done by culturing the viruses on adapted cell lines. The serological tests can detect antibodies directed against the virus using immunological methods. Myxoma viruses are live DNA viruses with linear double strain DNA. So about the medical prevention in France and in the USA. So in France, you have to vaccinate Vaccine, vaccinate your rabbit when he is 35 days old and then there is a new vaccination every four months and when there is a new rabbit in the farm you have to treat this rabbit uh, during three days before letting him go with other rabbits and I know that in the USA there is no vaccine against the myxomatosis and there is no medical treatment for the sanitary prevention, first you have to pay attention, attention of the designs of the livestock buildings. For workers, they have to wear clean boots and coats to wear their hands and limit visitor entrance in the building. For the material, the little have to be renewed. You have to pay attention to the cleanliness of feeders and water, waterers you have to store the food in a dry and clean place. Um, when an animal is sick, you have to pay a lot of intentions, and when you have a duty, you have to put it in, in quarantine. And there is also, also occasional miseries, like cleaning and disinfections of equipment, equipment and buildings, including cages, feeders, net boxes, cash tents, you have to complete cleaning the building once a week, including walls, curtain legs, and light ones. Consequences on the farm. Um, there is a quick pro propagation of myxomatosis, so all the livestock can be affected. And there is economic consequences because rabbits will die, and you can sell them if they die from a disease. And in conclusion, I can say that I know rabbit meat isn't popular in the US, first because it's a pet, but also because there are diseases like rabbit fever and rabbit starvation. It's important to take a lot of sanitary prevention to limit the case of myxomatosis in farm, but also for pet rabbits. A case of myxomatosis in a rabbit farm cat can lead it to a bankrupt because it's a disease with quick propagation due to the good breeding. And also to maintain health in rabbit farm, you have to pay attention to breeding conditions, like the surface <coughs> and the volume of cages, the temperature of the air, the um, harmful gases used <coughs> by the animals, the ventilations, the lights, the noises. And all of these elements are to keep rabbits comfortable and limit the number of diseases. Thank you for your attention. Okay. That was my Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> Questions, comments about rabbits or viruses or anything such as that? Now, has it controlled the virus in France then? I mean, is it like the vaccine? Yes. Then it's like not, not really an issue as long as you vaccinate? No, yes. You have to vaccinate your rabbits. So right. Yes. And quite often, it looked like. Was it every yes. three or four months? Four months. Yeah. Okay. Here's a comment. So now, how common is rabbit eaten in France? Is it like once a week for most people, or is it, you know, give yeah. me an idea. Uh, I don't know. In my family, we don't eat rabbit because my father don't like it. But, okay. Um, I think you can eat like twice a month. Okay, yeah. sure. It's and then a, also a horse meat, right? Yeah, it's like horse meat. We don't eat it a lot. Right. Sometimes.
Yeah, that's very interesting. I think when the last time I was in Canada, I had rabbit on, and it was in a menu. And it was more like chicken. How many have eaten rabbit here? See, okay. Is it like kind of like chicken, if I remember right? Well, softer. I think it's more tender. More tender. Okay, more tender than rabbit. It's, I only think I had only had it once. So, and the other thing that uh, she reminded me of, like when you have these diseases, and she talked about coveralls and sanitation. When I was at Nebraska, we had swine that were called SPF. Anybody ever heard of those swine? It's specific pathogen free. And it was developed in, in Nebraska where they had a line of swine that when they were ready to be born, it was done by cesarean section. Because the birth canal has pathogens in it. So they would take these swine out by cesarean section, raise them in some barn, and the only way we could go there to those swine, we had to shower in and shower out. And everything was sanitized. You know, inside the building, we had new coveralls. Everything was, you know, nothing was brought in from the outside. And then we also, it was called specific pathogen free. And it's swine that were very healthy. They didn't have the common diseases. And what, when you were talking about the sanitation and everything, it reminded me of that. So you gotta be very careful, especially if you have this. Now, I have one other question about uh, rabbit production. How many rabbits can be found on a farm? I mean, how many do people raise? I'm just curious. Oh, I work in a, in, it was a little farm and we have like, I think 12 females. Okay. So very little, but I think there's Are there places that have more than 12 females? Like mm -hmm. hundreds, would there be places yeah, with yeah, hundreds? I okay. Think Okay, here's one over there. Would the vaccine be obtainable here in the United States, or is it just something that we don't do here? Is it? Did you say is it available? Yeah, obtainable. Can you get or buy it all? Um, I didn't have a lot of information about it, but I learned that you can't um, bring the, the vaccine into the U.S. because it's not the same. I don't remember the word. Strain? Yeah, the, the same strain okay. in the U.S. and in the France. So. so even if they brought it in, it's probably the wrong strain. It wouldn't be worth it. And then here's why some vaccines aren't available in the United States. There's not a big call for them. And some pharmaceutical company is not going to develop them if there's not a big demand, right? It might be very worthy to do, but if they're not going to make their dollars, they're not going to make the vaccine. Probably what that is. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Good stuff.